All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, pilot generator on a Hayward 8 series. Uh, this is the ED1 series millivolt pool heater. This is an H350, 350,000 BTU heater. Uh, there's different model ranges, 150, etc. It doesn't really matter. If you have a millivolt heater, they're pretty much all the same uh, on the Hayward line. So just to, for prep, I'm going to make this two different videos. Uh, you want to turn your gas valve, shut that off. Also, just for safety, uh, turn off your gas main as well. Uh, once that's off, I'll show you in the box what you actually get when you order the replacement. So in here, you get a, um, you know, just to kind of educate you a little bit on what this stuff looks like. This is what really helps, uh, this is what makes the, uh, the whole system work here. You have a pilot here. So the gas comes through the gas tube underneath here. This is, the, this is the pilot generator, this is your spark igniter. So this actually generates voltage, sends it through the wire. I still have it hooked up so you can see. The two wires from the pilot generator come in here, sending enough voltage into the gas valve which triggers a solenoid which turns the gas flow on. Um, this actually mounts right under here. I still have the, the unit, in. Um, I didn't change it out yet, I'm going to show you how it goes. Um, actually goes like this back into there. Um, right now, I took the screw out here. You're going to need to remove. There's a bolt here. Just use a pair of needle nose. Just get in there, take that out, and you'll be able to pull that whole pilot generator out. And uh, I'm going to put in the next video how to actually uh, wire this up. And this is a replacement uh, gas tube they sent you. See the old one here. You just can copy the bin. Some people just reuse this. I would take an air compressor, just blow this out, make sure there's no dust or debris inside there.